what should someone think about if they're struggling financially right now or they feel like they're they've been struggling for many years and it feels like they're just surviving week after week month after month they're not sure how to get to that kind of sense of freedom for at least a six month runway or beyond what should they start thinking about do you know what you've just described i believe the majority of people are living that way yeah the majority now that's rather sad but i think yeah. it's true <clears throat> and it's because we only have one problem in the whole world and that's ignorance they're living in ignorance they don't know that what they're doing is going to keep them where they are and they keep doing it because they don't know how to change they're overwhelmed with the debt people are saying i need the money they haven't got it they want to take their family on a vacation they don't have the money to go so they may borrow it and go anyway now they got more debt they have to understand that they don't have to live that way mm. I wrote a book called You're Born Rich. The truth is you are. Most people are just a little short of money, mm -hmm. but you are born rich, rich yeah. in potential. And then you focus on prosperity. You've got to have a financial goal. You've got to work toward it. And you've got to understand that you can earn more than you're earning. And wealthy people don't have one source of income. They have more than one. I was earning money all last night while I was sleeping. You can actually earn more money when you're sleeping than you can spend when you're awake. Yeah. You know, it, it sounds like a cute line, but it's true. There's no end to what we can earn. If you are not getting information from someone who is already wealthy, then you're probably getting information from the wrong people. Most people ask their brother-in-law, the guy next door, or the girl they know, how do I earn more? Hell, if they knew, they'd be earning it. They don't know. And most <clears throat> people talk to people that don't know. Carlyle put it very well. He said he did not believe in the collective wisdom of individual ignorance. Mm. And that's where most people are getting it from people who don't know any more than themselves. I was on the fire department in a suburb of Toronto, and there was a man near there who, who became a friend of mine, Ray Stanford. He gave me a copy of Think and Grow Rich, and he said, Bob, if you do exactly what I tell you and read this book every day, you can have anything you want. Well, I mean, I was unhappy, I was sick, I was broke. And you know, you never knew what I thought it was nonsense. But he said something else. He said, "Listen, my way's working, yours isn't." <laughs> he was happy, healthy, and wealthy. The guy always had money on him, and big, healthy guy. And he said, "You're unhappy, sick, and broke." So he said, "I must know something you don't know. Why the hell don't you do what I tell you?" And so I started to do what he suggested. And he said, what do you really want? Well, I wanted was some money. I, I was earning $4,000 a year at the time, and I owed 6000 <laughs> If I had paid everything I earned for 18 months, I would have just broken even. Oh, wow. It was an impossible situation. And he said, listen, write what you want on a card. Now, I got a cold, gold card in my pocket. I've carried one ever since. He said, write what you want on the card. Do you have anything you want? So he said, what do you really want? And I said, I want some money. So I wrote that I wanted to have $25,000. If I had got together all the people I know, or knew at that time, and put all their money together, we wouldn't have come up with $25,000. We probably wouldn't have come up with a thousand. I mean, it was an enormous amount of money. It was nuts. So I wrote that in the card. He said, you gotta read it every day. And he keeps saying, did you read it? Did you read it? You know, so he got me reading it. And I reading, read reading the book or reading the no, card? No, no, read the gold card. The card read the, just yet. a gold card. Read your gold card. I'm so happy and grateful now that I have 25000 And I learned something very important from it. All I thought about prior to that was debt. Because people are always phoning me, when are you going to pay me? If you think about debt, you're going to be in debt forever. Yeah. You become what you think about. Well, this gold card got me thinking about earning money. I never thought of earning money before. I thought about debt all the time. And it got me thinking of earning money. So I started to hear people talking about earning money. And because I heard them talking about it, it started me thinking about it. And some guy said, there's good money cleaning floors. I said, I'm not proud, I'll clean floors. I was prepared to do anything. I wonder in this money. I say, I wonder yeah. money. So I started to clean one office. And by the end of the year, I was earning $14,500 a month. What? I was on the fire department. The chief was only earning Eleven thousand five hundred a year. Wow! I was earning fourteen thousand five hundred. This was in a year, from the start. Well, I started to clean one office, 
Canada starch, I'd wash the floor twice a month, $15 a time, I got $30. Then I got another one, Kirby's Construction, I got 65 a month. Well, do you know in less than five years, I was cleaning my office in Toronto, Montreal, Boston, Cleveland, Atlanta, London, England. I mean, think going like a rocket. How should people be uh, developing their imagination on a daily basis in a positive way? Well, I think they should take time to image what they want. I have a business partner, um, Sandy Gallagher, who is a brilliant woman, and she rides horses, uh, gated horses. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's in Kentucky right now. And she images herself as a world champion. Every day, she takes the time and she sees herself as a world champion. She sees herself getting the roses, getting the whole thing. And that's what you should do it. I think you build the image of what you want. I mean, you obviously image this studio yeah. Yeah. before you ever built it. Right. I mean, everything you see here was part of the image in your mind. But everything you create, you create twice. Once in here, once out here, mm. you know? So you never get an original painting. Mm. You always get a duplicate. Hmm. The picture's in here. Wow. So we have to see ourselves with what we want here. Now we've got enormous uh, deterrent in our paradigm. We're conditioned genetically and environmentally. And that conditioning is controlling most people's lives. That's why brilliant people are broke. Brilliant people are unhappy. Brilliant people never really accomplish very much. They're absolutely brilliant, but their paradigm is controlling them. Mm. It's all about intellect. I'm firmly convinced if a person doesn't understand a paradigm, a paradigm is, an, is nothing but a multitude of habits. Uh -huh. They're programmed into your subconscious mind that control your behavior. It's got nothing to do with how smart you are. It's got nothing to do with what your formal education is. It's got nothing to do with which side of the tracks you come from. Mm -hmm. It has to do with your paradigm. The paradigm is a program in your subconscious mind that's both genetic and environmental that's controlling your behavior. Everyone that can hear my voice knows how to do better than they're doing. And they may wonder, why don't I do it? It's because you're programmed to do what you're doing. Yeah. And until you change the program, nothing's going to change. Mm -hmm. Paradigm has to be changed. Most people live through their senses because we're programmed to do that. Mm. Literally, we're, we're programmed genetically and then environmentally to go by what we hear, see, smell, taste, touch. But you know, I have an animal, I have a dog at home that can hear, see, smell, taste, touch. All animal life operates through senses. We've been created in God's image. We have these higher faculties. We are creative beings, mm. literally. We have perception, the will, reason, imagination, memory, and intuition. They're, they're the faculties that make us separate from everything else. Like, all the other little creatures on the planet are completely at home in their environment. We're the only creature that's totally disoriented in our environment. Mm. And that's because we've been given the faculties to create our own environment. Right. But we've never been taught how to use them. What does the power of generosity do for the other person and do for you, the giver? Givers gain. I think the giver enjoys more than the receiver. And I'm convinced that six, giving is, a, is one of the basic rules of success. Well, you know, Emerson said that cause and effect was the law of laws. Action and reaction are equal and opposite. So <laughs> it's, it's in harmony with the laws of the universe. And I believe this whole universe operates in a very orderly way. I'm very tuned into laws, the laws of the universe. And I think that's why. When I could win, anybody can win. Yeah. It's just a matter of getting the right information from the right people. Mm -hmm. I think we get too much information from the wrong people. Yeah. And personal development today is such a well-known thing mm -hmm. that for anybody not to be developing themselves personally is, is rather sad, I think. Yeah. You know? So we have to help them as all we can. Like, I don't think a person deliberately destroys himself. I think they're misguided. <laughs> yeah. They're, 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 they're ignorant. They don't know. Yeah. They're, they're lost. Yeah.